In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and get Theme Builder. And what Theme Builder is, is it lets you create themes for some rewards straight from your iPhone or iPod Touch. And this is probably my favorite app that I've found, one of my favorite apps. It's really good and really easy to use. And I give you a download link in the description for some more images, an image pack that I've created for it. I'll talk about more of that later. Okay, but first what you need to do is go to Installer. Okay, now it may be in all packages already, these two things, but if you don't have them in all packages, actually, you know what, just go ahead and add the source. You go to Edit, Add, and then I will have the source in the description. It is the My iPod Touch source, and just hit OK. It will refresh sources, then you're going to go to Scroll Down, then go to iPod Touch folder. Okay, and here's all this stuff. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to install is the package called Theme Builder. So hit that, hit install, and if you can, clear the quay before you do it, and then install. Okay, now scroll back to the my, or the iPod Touch folder. Go down. And then you will see the TB demo image pack, the Sensor Theme Builder demo in image pack. It's a theme pack that they have created for the theme builder, for you to use. But I give you a lot of images and stuff like wallpapers, um, icons, status bars, dock backgrounds, and other things like that. And it's 3.3 megabytes, so it may take a little bit. You can kind of see me in the reflection of the iPhone. Okay, it's about finished up here. Alright, now you're going to hit the home button. Okay, I'll refresh, slide down lock. And you should see this little icon, Theme Builder. We're not going to open it up yet. Okay, now we're going to go to the computer and SSH more images and stuff into the program. And if you don't know how to do that, I will have a link in the description on how to SSH. I have one of my videos. And you have to have Wi-Fi for that. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, all you're going to be able to use is the images that they provide for you. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is download my image pack that I've created for it. Okay, it's in the, I'll have the link, send, send space link in the description of the video. It's over to the right if you don't know. Um, just download that. It will come in a zip folder like this. All you need to do is open it up and then extract all files, maybe right there, or you could right click on it and extract it. Okay, and it will look like this this folder. Open it up and you will see four folders my collection of docs, icons, wallpapers, and status bars. I've got a lot of things in that. Okay, just minimize that. Alright, now you're going to open up WinSCP or Qt FTP Pro, whichever one you use. I use WinSCP, and if you don't know how to do this, there's a link in the description to a video, my video, on how to SSH. It's not hard. You just have to have Wi-Fi. Okay, it will connect. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to, you should start out in private var root. You're just going to keep hitting the up arrow. Until you get to you can't until you can't go up any farther until it just says a slash right there. Then go to var mobile library and then scroll down to theme builder. And then there you go. That's what you need to be at. And if that's if you're on firmware 1.1.3 or 1.1.4. If you are on 1.1.1 uh, or 1.1.2, you should upgrade. Okay. But restore before you do the upgrade. Alright, now what you're going to do is in the doc folder, so you're going to need to open up my folder of my image packs, and then select my doc collection of doc icons and drag it into the theme builder. And, or drag it into the doc folder in theme builder. And drop it. And hit copy. I've already got them in there, so I'm not gonna, it's not going to do it again. Okay, then do the same thing for icons. Drag and drop it in there. And drop it in the icons folder. Okay, 
Then the same thing for wallpapers and status bars. Drop, drop the wallpapers in the wallpaper folder and the status bars in the status bar folder. And it will look like this. You'll see my image packs. Okay, there's only one problem when you transfer all these images over to it is it will slow the program down. So if you're having problems with it slowing down, I would recommend that you just, when you transfer some wallpapers, just transfer a few, or if you're going to make a theme, just transfer like the stuff you need for a theme, like the wallpaper and then the icons, just by themselves because that will slow down your phone a lot and it will freeze up okay now once you're done transferring all that stuff it may take a little bit we're gonna go back to your iPhone or iPod Touch alright now we're gonna go back to the theme builder program you may have to turn your iPhone off and turn it back on if you don't see some of the stuff I would recommend just turn your phone off and back on after you do the SSH okay so open up theme builder once you're done with all that Go all right. If you're wanting to create a new theme, you go to Builder, New Theme, or Edit Existing Theme. Edit Existing Theme is like this. You can find your themes that you have in Summerboard. I'll just use this one. Then you can go to Icons, and then you can change your icons. And if you're wanting to add more icons, you go to Edit, Add, and then you have to type in the application name. It has to be exactly like it's displayed below the icon on your Summerboard or home screen whatever you're gonna call it and then hit done and then you select the image for it okay it seems to have froze so you get a lot of uh, there's a lot of problems with it crashing maybe a bug in the program or something I don't know but if it does this if it freezes and crashes see there it went if you just wait a little bit sometimes it'll do it but if it stays like that hold the home and power button in for about 15 seconds and it will shut off automatically and when you're touching stuff like hold down for a second that makes it do it faster See, there's all the icons I've got for you. Tons of them from different themes. Lots of icons. Okay. And I don't even remember what this one is. All oh, this is clock. I'll just pick anything. It doesn't matter. Um, clock. Where's the clock? Okay, it doesn't matter. I just picked mail. Okay. Then you can go back and then close and then hit save. Or don't save, whichever one you do. I'm just gonna hit don't save and then if you want to make a new theme go to new theme name it whatever you want wallpaper hold down on it when you do it may take a second to load up and if you have problems with it crashing don't transfer everything at once just transfer it as needed okay and while well, it's froze right now at any time when you're in this thing right here once you've added a dock and wallpaper you can hit the preview button up here and it will give you a preview of your dock and background you can't show the icons yet they haven't got it to do that yet so that will be out in later versions of the program I'm sure but that's all if you have any problems just leave me a comment or send me a message thanks for watching and please subscribe